G'day and welcome to this second video in the series on achieving success in the K-6 Mathematics Classroom. I'm Dr. Peter Price of Professor Pete's Classroom. If you missed the first video, there's a link below the video, you can go and watch that. Um, in this video, I'm talking about how to teach students to recall all their number facts for a particular operation. That's addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, of course, in 10 weeks. So I've got six suggestions for you. And here we go. The first one is have an utter determination. Be absolutely convinced that this is what you want to achieve. It is hard work. It will take significant amounts of time and effort on the part of you and your students and your students' parents, hopefully, as they help their children. And so it's not going to work unless you are completely determined and you make this a high priority in the classroom. As I said in the first video, this is a foundation for success in later mathematics. And so I believe it's something worth investing time and effort in. So be absolutely determined. The second suggestion is to use a strategies approach. There are strategies that children can use for thinking about each set of number facts. So we're not talking about rote learning and just parroting or singing songs or any of those repetitive processes, but rather giving the students the tools to think about the number facts. And so we have strategies like count on. That's the first one used for addition facts. So if they were facing a number fact like eight plus three, we would say, well, count on three from eight. What are the next three numbers? Nine, 10, 11. The answer is 11. Once the students have recalled the number fact, then of course they don't need the strategy. And so that's the ultimate goal that they just recall it. So we can say eight plus three and they go 11. That's easy. The next suggestion is to include daily practice. So this is something that should be um, practiced daily for short periods of time rather than saving it all up for one day a week and doing it for 45 minutes or something. 10 or 15 minutes a day should be enough and it's practice of the same strategy. So each week there's a strategy. Um, it includes homework practice if you can fit that in. Um, and the children are practicing and practicing and practicing so that it becomes natural to them. And as I said, there's homework, so you want to engage parents in helping their own children with this. And you'll want to explain to them, of course, what the strategies are so that the practice at home is consistent with what's going on in your classroom. The next suggestion is to coach students in how to think. So you want to help them with what we call metacognition or thinking about thinking. So when they're facing a number fact they don't know and they're you know, tempted to use their fingers or count a along a ruler or use a chart on the wall, remind them of the strategy, remind them how they can think about the numbers involved and give them um, a prompt to help them to recall the number fact. And finally, you want to review what the students are doing each week. So have some sort of assessment and so build up the students' abilities and uh, the progress that you're making week by week. And of course, you'll do some recording of that and hopefully reporting to parents and letting parents see that success is being achieved for their children. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope that you found it interesting and useful. There hasn't been time, of course, to lay out the entire approach. I hope that you'll come by our website at profpeat.com for more information. In the next video, number three, I'm going to talk about why every math lesson needs pictures. And so I hope you'll come by and uh, watch that video also. If this is the first video you've seen, as I said, don't forget to click on the link to see the first one. But you can um, add your name and email to the form over here next to the video. And that way I'll send you a notification when the next video is available. And I hope that you'll uh, stick around to see all four that are in the series. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you very soon.